Hello Virgos! This is your February monthly reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. It's early, guys, so bear with me, okay? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on for Virgo this month of February? If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. I really appreciate that. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Just don't even know. I get choked up just thinking about it. Let's see what's going on for you guys with this Celtic cross. We're going to lay these cards face down. Have a little air of mystery here. Let's see what's going on around you guys. What's challenging my Virgos this month? What's the underlying issue here? Past or recent events? Move this down a little bit. Best outcome here. What's coming in for you guys? How you're feeling about this situation currently. Take that one. Your outside influence flipped over. We'll leave it like that. Your hopes. Your fears. And the overall outcome right there. All right, Virgos, what's going on with you guys around you right now? Oh, feeling like you just can't do anymore. You're tired of it. You feel like you've done everything that you could do. All the weight has been put on your shoulders. And, um, and, and you're facing the past here. So I'm feeling like, you know, you guys have been bogged down for a while now. But it's still like, you know, on your mind what you've been through, what you've done. And um, you're just ready to put it to bed, I feel. Let's see what's challenging you guys. It's to keep moving. Keep moving forward. Um, to, to, to carry on. Um, if you guys, you know, if you care about something or someone, I think this is not really giving up. I think it's facing whatever issues you have um, with vigor, you know, not really putting your hands by your side and just saying, oh, well, here, okay, Sagittarian energy here, um, could be any other fire energy, Leo or Aries as well, okay, let's see what was going on in the recent past for you guys here, hmm, kind of undecided about something someone here okay um having blinders on not really wanting to see you know not being able to see rather what was what was clearly a clear decision that you could make um it's like you felt like your hands were tied is what i'm getting here libra energy let's see how you guys feel about this situation the nine of wands a lot of you are just you know you're tired I think you're tired of thinking about it. I think that um, it's a struggle for you to go on because I, I think you're still kind of stuck in decision mode. It's like, do you keep pushing forward? Do you keep trying or do you just stop? Do you just, you know, let it go, let it in here? Okay. Let's see what the issue is. Yeah, you guys are worrying a lot about whether or not to continue on with something or to just give up on it. Okay, let's see the best possible outcome here. Yeah, it's for you to do what's right. Do what's right for you. Do what's right for other people. Um, and in doing what's right for other people, I don't mean take people's bullshit. That's not what I'm saying. If you feel like you're tired, you've had enough, it is actually sitting down, talking to somebody and letting them know that you just cannot do this anymore, okay? It's too, it's too like, pressing on you. It's too stressful for you. Like, you know, you can't go on the way that you have been going on here. This is bringing an end to something here, whether or not it's continuing to go on or whether or not it's, like, or whether it's um, deciding to, like, you know, bow out gracefully here. This is what this is. Doing the right thing. Okay. What's coming in for you guys is stability. It's happiness. I think you definitely will do what's best for you. Um, and I think that you will do, you will do it gracefully. I think you will do it with integrity. Because 
For some of you, this is deciding to commit to someone and giving your all, um, but also putting it out, out on the on the table, like what you expect from a situation here. Okay, gaining stability whether it's by yourself or with someone else. I'm getting this as more of um, kind of both, but I feel like this is also a move for some of you to another location, okay? Now, your outside influence, I feel, is that there is someone who you have been trying to figure out if it's best for you to walk away um, because I think that this person, you've taken a lot of, um, you've taken a lot of lip, okay? You've taken a lot of mental stress from this person. And I think that's what, that's what they provide, excuse me, that's what they provide for you. And um, I think a lot of you have just had enough of it. You've had enough of the arguing, you've had enough of the backbiting, um, the itchiness. And... I think you're just like, you, you're not sure what to do with this person at this point, okay? Your hopes is the Four of Pentacles here. Now, a lot of you are wanting to save because, again, I, I see that a lot of you are moving, actually moving locations. Now, maybe some of you are deciding to walk away from this situation with this individual that's brought you a lot of mental stress and moving into your own place. Okay, and then your hopes would be able to like save money here. Okay, get your stability financially, even. All right, and for others of you who are choosing to, um, you know, just be by yourself, um, if, if you already live in your own place, this is you getting your stability within yourself and kind of removing your feelings from the situation, keeping your feelings close to your chest and really not allowing anybody to affect you the way that this person has here. OK, whether it's verbal abuse or, you know, whatever it is, this means for you. OK, your fear is that you won't gain your stability. I feel like this is about finances for some of you. Some of you actually moving locations because um, you want to, you know, if you move, I feel that, you know, you're wondering if you can actually handle this situation financially on your own. And your fear is that you won't be able to, that you're going to be thrown off, that your finances are going to suffer because of this. Okay, your livelihood is going to suffer. Because I get the feeling that, um, you know, also you guys are wanting wanting a situation where you can have an equal exchange with someone. And I feel like you're not getting that here. I feel like you guys, um, you, you think that you are taking on all of the burden of this relationship. And all this person is giving you is lip. Okay. Stress. Here. Okay. So the overall outcome here is I feel like there will be change. There will be a change in your situation. Um, some of you are actually moving out of someone's home, okay, and getting your own place. And I feel like that it will be a struggle for a little while for you. But I think overall, you guys will be successful as long as, because this is karma, okay, this will is karma. It's constantly turning. Okay, so whatever you're putting into it is what you're getting out of it. Now, justice, what you do with justice determines what this wheel is going to spin out for you. So make sure, whatever your situation is, my Virgos, that you guys handle it with integrity. Do what you feel is right for you and handle people with um, respect and care. If you are moving out, if you are separating, and um, you guys are going to be okay, okay? I feel like you will, you know, you'll go through this little adjustment period. But I feel overall, I think that you guys are going to come up. You're going to be all right, okay, my guys? So we have Sagittarian energy here. We have Capricorn, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries energy. All right, guys, so I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.